Hey guys, uh, today I was want to talk about uh, Zeek polymorphism. Uh, basically, you can see me uh, starting um, a basic project. Uh, I was sitting and figure out, okay, what Zeek have to um, compete with something like Rust uh, or Go um, in polymorphism type um, and I mean, Go is not I actually a competitor because it's using interface and this is a dynamic dispatching, so uh, it's kind of slow for system programming. Um, but Zeek uh, have several different um, things you can do. Uh, and uh, I'll talk about, those will be Tech Union, um, basically. Uh, you can see me uh, creating these tech unions. Uh, those are uh, the same as um, enums in Rust. Um, so I'll get algebraic data types uh, right. So in this example, this will be like a main data with um, like it can be H as U32 or name as a string. So what we do is we create a function, print me right, and we get in some kind of data, and this will be uh, main data. So one of those, uh, like uh, an um, age or uh, an um, uh, name value, and what we will do is uh, we will uh, match uh, this um, to a specific uh, type. So we match uh, to the uh, basically enum type. Uh, we get like main data, and we want to match if it's uh, like age uh, or if it's name. And for age, we just print in my age is right, and taking uh, this age, it will be u32. For name, uh, this will be string, um, and we just print in my name is. Uh, and basically string after that we just call it uh, and set this uh, union type to for like uh, main data h and setting h or uh, all main data name and setting it as name uh, you can see me uh, struggling <laughs> with setting a uh, keyword match uh, like you have in Rust, but in Zeek you have Switch, and uh, I'll just figure out and uh, change it. Um, yeah, and basically, yeah, after changing main data to corresponding variable. Uh, we will uh, get proper result. <laughs> right. So you can see we print in corresponding data, but uh, this was a uh, tagged union. And in most cases, this is uh, my go to when you want to do some polymorphism, uh, but you can use uh, static dispatching and basically any type. So any type will be uh, will work the way um, it will take a look uh, what you want from type. Like here, we want the uh, type to have print function, and basically we'll validate it uh, at runtime. Uh, not runtime, compile time, my bad. And the way we're doing this is we creating uh, structures. Like in this case, we're changing uh, enum to just basic structures with um, functions, like methods, I would say. And uh, yeah, same stuff. Uh, we just uh, have... Um, uh, properties um, on every structure 
uh, and we use them in print uh, function. Here you can see we set a age property uh, for age data. And then we just creating a uh, name data, uh, but with um, yeah, I <laughs> I wanted to change it, but think that like okay, no. And here we just change age to name uh, as uh, const uh, u8 slice, and we'll do the same. Yeah, and you can see the result. Basically, same result. Um, you can um, you can check that it's working as intended. If we create a some set um, to call print me with some type that doesn't um, implement for this case print function, uh, it will just give you compile time warning. Uh, like in this case, comp time int. Um, no field or member function and print in com time int. So yeah, this is it. Um, 